we are you know, taught to sit at the desk, to sit at the lunch table, to sit in front of the TV, to sit in the car, and 90% of our lives are sitting. So it's important to find something that's going to keep your body moving, too, because that's what's going to ward off potential injuries. So it's really important to make sure that you have that balance, which is why we call the studio equilibrium. <laughs> yes. Warm up. Every student is different, however, and Emily's been with me for almost two years now, so about a year and a half, um, and she's an apprentice, so she, you know. Start your 75-year-old grandma like this. You know, every person is different. So, being a Pilates instructor means that we need to be able to accommodate all body types. We do work with men. We do work with women. We work with elderly people. We work with injured people. We work with pregnant people. We work with. We have clients in wheelchairs. Um, we've also worked with professional athletes, such as dancers. Um, I've worked with. Um, uh, members of the Philadelphia Eagles and uh, players, so we get a lot of yeah. We get a, we get like all walks of life. We get the house moms, we get doctors and lawyers, and it's really for everybody you know, because of the endorphins that it produces. Um, and I, and I like to think because of the atmosphere that we create in here too. It's a gentle, kind atmosphere, um, and I think you put all of that together and and feel better about themselves. You know, what she's doing now, that's called rolling up the ball. Um, and it's designed to massage the spine. So she makes it look like a piece of cake, but that's actually a really hard exercise. you notice that the ball doesn't open up. It stays really tight and small because she's using her muscular strength to make that happen. We hear a lot, oh, I love Pilates. It's so easy. But when you're doing Pilates correctly, just like dance, it really shouldn't be easy. There's always something new to work on. There's always something we can do better. Some people need to work on their flexibility, so they're going to find the stretching aspect of the Pilates work hard. Other people really need to work on their strength. That's a huge strength exercise that she's doing right now. Emily's changed her body dramatically. Right, darling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is um, where we do most of our private lessons, our coat area, and we have cubbies for our clients. I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> and now with the, uh, the handicap, do you get handicapped people coming in for rehabilitation work yes, and stuff do. like that? Yes, we do. And we've had people that were confined to wheelchairs that we got them up and wow, walking around. Wow, that's awesome. A, a beautiful thing. We've had obese people. I had a client who was well over 300 pounds and she lost over 150 pounds with me over the course of two years. It was remarkable. I mean, she literally became a different person. Unbelievable. I tell all my clients, you can hate me as much as you want during the lesson, but tomorrow when you're on the beach, you're going to be thanking me. So she's using up her own energy here and she's creating more. And I think you probably feel pretty good right now. <laughs> She's got such a gorgeous back end, which is almost impossible for someone who, with a rod in their backs. Look at this. I had the opportunity to schedule a private lesson with Emily, where she not only catered to my individual needs and injuries, but she made sure I was correctly aligned and engaging every possible muscle. stuff up. If that stuff is working for you, keep doing it because this is a great complement to that. But what we find is a lot of people discover they don't want to do that stuff anymore. They, this feels good. This gives you the results and it's pleasant to do in the moment. And it makes them look better. And it makes them feel better. And it makes them stronger. So 
we find that people are like, you know, I don't, I don't need to go to my personal trainer anymore. I've got my Pilates instructor now.